<clears throat> hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Friday, May the 8th. My name's Tom. This is seven minutes in the morning. Today, we're going to talk about the comfort zone. It's a Friday. We should talk about comfortable things, right? If you think this conversation is going to be comfortable, you haven't watched very many of these episodes yet, have you? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It is Friday, but you know what Friday is just the end of the customer week for some of us. Uh, my name is Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes in the morning the show where we talk about how to start grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. I'm going to go ahead and pimp the radio show now and again at the end because it's moved. It used to be on Tuesdays. Now it's on Saturdays, same time, different days, Saturday mornings at eight this week. Our regular attendee here at the uh, seven minutes conversation, Mr. Joe Cop, is going to be my guest on the show this week. And um, just in preparing, <clears throat> in preparing for that, I know that there's going to be a ton of good information. So you want to tune in for that, WTKIRadio.com, uh, or ask tune in to play it. Or if you're in the Huntsville area, you can listen live over the air, 1450 AM, 105.3 FM. When you get here, do as Joe and Aisha have done already this morning. And someone else whom I can't see your name because it's in the group, I'll I'll reply to a text comment as soon as I'm done here. Sorry about that. Do what they've done. Leave a comment. Say hi, hello, good morning, how you doing? And if you have a question or a topic, you know, it is Friday. If you wanted to try and stump the coach, you could do that. Although Nobody's ever been able to do it. I'm still batting a thousand. So that's why I don't do it as regularly anymore. It's just, you know, <clears throat> need a good challenge. All right. So today, oh, if you get value from our time together today, heart stars, thumbs up and likes. All right. Today, I want to talk to you about a uh, comfort zone, a promised comfort zone. All progress takes place outside, outside your comfort zone. Think about, think about when you're working out, when you're doing work in the yard, anything you've ever done, breaking in a new pair of shoes, anything you've ever done <clears throat> that's led to blisters. Okay, blisters are what happens. You know, your skin's made up of multiple levels. When they start rubbing together, create friction. They try to protect themselves. So they bump up this little blister. Well, the blister, I mean, they can be really bad sometimes, and they can hurt. But over time, they become calluses, right? That's progress. So what used to hurt, what used to be painful, there's a mechanism built in to protect you from that if you just go through the process. Hey, Jeff, but you've got to go through the process. If you don't, then you never gain the benefit of the, the pain of the challenge, all right, so let's bring that back around to what we're doing right now. We, I mean, gosh, the last two months is crazy, right? We're making a lot of this stuff up as we go. We, we've never done anything like this before. How do we respond to this? How do we do this? How do we come back from that? We don't know. We're going to try it. But this is the case. I'm making, in, the, in my blog post today, I make this case that, that this is why you do planning. Planning is not for the purpose of having a plan it's for thinking about these things ahead of time feeling the pain before the event occurs and beginning to build those blisters and calluses before the before the event right now here's where our quote of the day ties in those things are uncomfortable right Going through that planning process is hard. It's difficult. I ask hard questions, right? You have to make hard decisions. But then when the time comes, you're practiced at those decisions. You know what the answers are, and you can just kind of click through them. Is it the hard work? Yeah, that's the hard work of business ownership, right? But it's the hard work that makes the fun work possible. Sorry about that. 
And I've lost my cough button. I need to get that back. It's the hard work that makes the fun work possible. So just think about that. And, and look, this rule applies everywhere, right? You, you can't, and lots of good trite sayings, right? You can't discover new shores if you never lose sight of the old one. Same principle applies, right? Real progress, real improvement, real growth. It's the thing about going to the gym, right? You can't build new muscle until you tear down the old muscle. New growth, progress requires you to leave your comfort zone. Progress is movement toward a goal. So you want to achieve a goal, you've got to get out of your comfort zone. You got to do the things that are uncomfortable. Yeah, going through this right now. If you don't know how to adapt to the crisis, then you need to prepare for other situations that can be just as damaging. Absolutely. While this particular set of circumstances is new, we've had tornadoes that shut us down for two weeks. We have ice storms. We have you know, remnants of hurricanes, depending on where you live. I mean, you might, there's all kinds of things that could happen. So if you don't plan for it, you know, here's another old, old saying, but it's true. Failing to plan is planning to fail. You know, you, you just, you, you got to put the hard work in. So understand that the blisters, that the, that the temporary, the momentary pain is what's going to make it possible for you to survive. And there are plenty of businesses that are not going to survive this, which we, you know, we'll talk about how to deal with that too. There are plenty that won't survive because they just, they weren't structured well. They didn't function well they didn't operate well. And, and you know, I've said that before and I've gotten lots of pushback. Oh, you don't understand. This is devastating and nobody could have survived this. Really? I know restaurants that have closed. I know restaurants that are thriving, that are welcoming in all those new patrons that used to go to the restaurants that closed. I mean, it, it's, it's not, a, it's not about the circumstances, right? Our, the, 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 the meme for today is a, a, a goldfish jumping from a little bowl into a big bowl. Right. It, it, every, all, all the fish were in the little bowl, but one of them decided to jump out. It's not about the bowl, it's not about the set of circumstances, it's about how you choose to respond to it and how you choose to act in the face of those circumstances. That's what makes you different. That's what makes you a winner. And that's what separates you from the rest of the pack. All right, there, I'll end my sermon there. Um, yeah, look, you guys... <laughs> get me wound up every once in a while i hope you have a fantastic weekend take some time to rest rejuvenate turn off the news for a little while right go outside sunshine is the best disinfectant go outside get some vitamin d on your skin i guess get some sunshine on your skin so it'll create vitamin d um mentally take a break Right, so we can come back, hit the ground hot and heavy on Monday. I'll be back Monday morning, seven o'clock with a new installment of Seven Minutes. Don't forget the radio show is tomorrow, Saturday at eight o'clock. Joe Cop's my guest. Uh, great conversation that's going to go on there. I just know it. So be sure and tune in for that. Until so, that's it. Don't forget if you got value today, heart stars, thumbs up, and likes. And right underneath the video is a little button that's got the word share on it. Click on that. Share this with your network. They'll love you for that, and I will too. You guys have a great weekend, and I will talk to you again on Monday. See you, I hope, if I get the right button here. <laughs>